worldwide has reaffirmed their commitment and support to a united Nigeria. The youth wing of Ohaneze stated this in a statement on Tuesday by its president, Ambassador Ato Obiora in Oka, Anambra State. The group was reacting to the activities of the pro-Biafra groups like the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, who have intensified their separation demands following the End Stars protests. According to Ohaneze youth, Nigeria would become great when all the regions of the country work together as one people. We, the young people of the Igbo speaking area, under the auspices of the Ohaneze and Igbo Youth Wing Worldwide, wish to use this medium to call for calm and restoration of law and order in the country. We state categorically that we are in total support of the hashtag NSAS protests, demanding an end to police brutality, extortion, fortune and killings of innocent citizens, especially young persons by different units of the police force with special emphasis on SAS. There are numerous cases of our people who have fallen victims of police brutality and for that reason we commend the initiators of the protests for providing an opportunity for young people to express their grievances concerning such acts. We commend Mr. President and the federal government for accepting and granting the hashtag 5 for 5 demands of the young people that none of the five points were dropped nor amended clearly shows that for once young people have collectively gotten the government to listen to our sincere agitations on an issue we also commend the state governments that have already set up the judicial panels of inquiry as part of the demands of the hashtag NSAS protests and call on others to do same so that the panel can get to work and deliver on the directive of the federal government. We commiserate with our brothers and sisters of Southwest Extraction for the great loss suffered, most especially in Lagos State. We also commiserate with the families of those who lost their lives and all the state governments that have suffered great economic loss due to the massive vandalism and looting that took place this past couple of days. We pray that peace is restored immediately so that rebuilding and restoration will commence immediately. We commend our brothers and sisters in the northern part of the country who resisted all forms of provocation instigated by traitors who do not mean well for our country. We acknowledge that we are one people with a common goal and destiny. Our greatness will only be relieved or be realized when we work together as one people. Ohaneze calls on every young person to desist from acts and utterances that are aimed at plunging this country into chaos. We will not allow anyone derail this country on its course to greatness. Finally, Ohaneze will like to reaffirm and pledge our commitment and support to a united Nigeria. We pray that God will continue to bless and keep us together and united. The statement read, the group also condemned those that desecrated the statute of Dr. Namzi Azikiwe, saying they would not go unpunished. Alright guys, it is what it is. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? This is what the Hanese Indigo youth has come out to say 
as they denied IPOP, saying that they saying that they denounce IPOP as they reaffirms commitment to a united Nigeria. Well, it is what it is. A united Nigeria, to a very large extent, is what some people are holding on to. While some believe that a united Nigeria is the way forward, some actually believe that uh, segregation or secession is the way forward. But be that as it were, regardless of where you stand, one thing is sure. The fact that um, you know, Biafra is not yet achieved, or the Dua Republic is not yet achieved, the Kwarafa Republic is not yet achieved, the Niger Delta Republic is also not yet achieved. It goes a long way to show that uh, people at this particular point in time need to uh, stay strong and hold on with Nigeria, as it were. So be that as it is, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story at the moment? So just as it is, well, we need to um, see how things uh, go forward in this particular regard. One would expect that the people of the Southeast should be together. One would expect that the people of the Southeast should actually, um, you know, work hand in hand in tandem to uh, pull forth and achieve greater things. But be that as it were, regardless of anyone's support as it is, the, 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 the challenge is they are not united. If only they are united, then to a very large extent, you know, they would have been able to uh, forge ahead or forge a good partnership, forge a good uh, direction in this course. But it is what it is. We can only push uh, forward. We can only push together or achieve great things when we come together to fight. But if the people of the Southeast are still bent on not working together, then it is only uh, sad and unfortunate that uh, that is the dimension that things will take. Be that as it were, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? The people of the Southeast, you know, are rooting majorly for Biafra. That is the truth of the matter. We know that the people of the Southeast, you know, are strongly behind Biafra. And they are strongly working and rooting for Biafra. So if Biafra is achieved, if Biafra is achieved from the look of things or from the way things are going, if Biafra is achieved, you know, then the essence of the new Nigeria would probably no longer be there. But what is the possibility that Biafra would be achieved anytime soon or so is the uh, huge challenge that we need to ask ourselves. But it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story at this particular point in time? The denouncement of IPOP, do you think it has any effect on IPOP or the activities of IPOP as it were? Don't forget that recently, uh, River State prescribed IPOP and uh, put a bounty of 50 million naira on anybody who has information or who can provide information that will lead to the arrest of the leader of IPOP in River State, Mr. Stanley. So, for be that as it were, do you think that IPOP uh, is gaining more ground or this is actually setting them back or affecting them? It remains to be seen. From the look of things, we cannot guarantee or we cannot say for sure what the challenge is or where the, what the way forward is. But be that as it is, drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Don't forget to subscribe for, to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.